In this video, we're going to learn how to use the autocorrect functions, the spelling and grammar check, and how to use the find and replace functions in Microsoft Word. What I've done so far is downloaded the letter of recommendation that accompanies this video, and we're going to play around with this. Um, and as you can see, this already has a page border and it says to insert a logo, but we're not going to do that just yet. That's going to be in a different set of videos. So the first thing I want to do is I want to make sure that everything is spelled correctly. And we can see first that John Doe's last name is not recognized as a spelling correction, or it is recognized as something that needs to be corrected. So to fix that, I can go to File, and I can go to, oh, I'm sorry, Options, File and Options, and then I can go to Proofing, which is how all the spelling um, comes up. And I can say to ignore things. I can also go to check spelling as you type, which I recommend checking, but some people don't like to do that. They like to do it all at the end. But I like the reminder that the red squiggles means I need to make sure I do a spelling check. I can also check that I'm grammatically correct or not correct. And I can go to autocorrect options. I can go to exceptions and I can say other corrections. I'm going to put in D-O-U-G-H, oops, because that is how John Doe spells his name. And anytime I write a letter now for John Doe, it will be corrected. So I can click Add, I can hit OK, and OK, and OK. And now, if I ran a spell check, that would go away. Um, so now what I can do is I can I can go to Find and Replace, and what I want you to do is type in John Doe and I want you to type your name so whatever your name is and then I want you to go to replace all and the reason mine didn't work is because I have one thing highlighted see here it goes Mr. Jackie Cole of course I'm not a mister but that's okay we can replace that as well Okay, and you can see that it only replaced where it said John Doe. It didn't replace the Johns here. So now I got to go back to replace. I'm going to click John, replace it with Jackie. But I want you to do something here. I want you to go see if you can look at here where it says John. It's bold and underlined. So if I just do bold and underline where it says John, see how it now says bold underline? I want to go to replace all, and it should only replace the one instance where it was bold and underline. Isn't that kind of neat? So if I go back to replace and I take out the underline and go to replace all, now it's only replaced with the one that should say Jackie. So what I want you to do at this point is I want you to replace all, now all the instances that aren't bold and underline and I want you to replace it with an italicized form of your name. You're not going to use Jackie. So you go to replace all and now it's only made two replacements. So now when you look through, you can see that it's been italicized. Of course, in a real letter, you're not gonna italicize and bold and underline your name throughout the letter, but this is just to show you what Find and Replace can do. It's kind of a really powerful tool if you use it correctly. So now we've auto-corrected. My name's already auto-corrected, but I want you to um, put the exception in for your name because your name may not be um, spelled in a way that the dictionary may know. So you're going to add your name into an autocorrect even if your name doesn't have a squiggle. And we've used the find and, uh, find and replace. And you're going to save this work. So I'm going to save this. I'm going to put it in my documents, but if you can't save your items in your documents, you can go ahead and save it into your server or where it, wherever it is you need to save it. And let me just make sure it's in my documents. Oops, don't need that anymore. Don't save that. And there it is. Okay, great. So now we have a letter of recommendation and we've used find and replace as well as the auto corrections.